Hey what is up guys this is Mr Neeraj from Tech Unbox in this video we will talk about the prime lenses and we will discuss some of the advantages of having a prime lens and how you can improve the quality of your photos and videos with this lens so let's get started Firstly, let's talk about prime lens. It is a type of lens which comes with a fixed focal length means you cannot zoom in or zoom out. And these lenses comes with a variety of focal length like the 35mm, 50mm and a lot more. So let's jump into our topic. The first advantage of having a prime lens is the form factor. In my case, I am using a Nikon 35mm f1.8 prime lens with my Nikon D5500 and as you guys can see that this is a very small and a very lightweight lens. It is very useful for traveling because we need to keep us as light as possible during traveling so that we can carry all the camera gear without making us heavy or bulky. This lens can fit in a normal camera bag very easily and these lenses are also very durable because we don't have any moving parts like the zoom ring and the focusing ring of this lens is also built inside it which makes this lens extra durable. The reason number 2 is the faster focusing. In comparison to the kit or zoom lens, prime lenses focuses very faster. In good lighting conditions, both the zoom and the prime lens perform very well in terms of focusing. But in low light the prime lens is a clear winner because during the low light situations the zoom lens struggles a lot. So this lens helps in capturing the movement which occurs for a very short period of time. So just turn on the camera, press the shutter button and boom. The autofocusing system on this lens is my most loved feature. Although I use autofocus only for photos not for videos because I shoot all my videos on manual settings. This lens also makes a very less noise while focusing and this is also a very great thing. Next thing is the wider aperture. Normally with the zoom lens you will get the maximum aperture of f3.5 but this lens comes with f1.8 aperture. Firstly, let me tell you how the aperture works. So, aperture is the opening of the shutter. Means the lower the value of the f number will lead to the wider aperture. Means the lens blades will open more and letting the more light to hit the image sensor which helps a lot in low light photography or videography. And it helps in getting those blurry effects with the softer backgrounds or you can say bokeh photography. One thing I would like to tell you is that if you use these prime lenses at a maximum aperture then the result will get softer and I would recommend you if you have a f1.8 lens then you should use it at f2.8 or higher. This way you will get the great sharpness level and the overall picture quality will be great. Okay moving on let's talk about the picture quality. So the picture quality with the prime lens is much better than the kit lens or zoom lens. Previously I used to capture all my photos and videos with my 18 to 55 mm kit lens and uh, I'm not satisfied with the picture quality of my videos. But after buying this lens the quality has been improved to a greater extent and these days I don't use my kit lens at all. And if we compare prime lens with the zoom lens then the prime lens will deliver the best picture quality and it will not disappoint you in any way. You can get some very cool and interesting looking shots. The most important reason to buy a kit lens is the price. So the entry level prime lens comes at a very affordable price. I bought it for 10,000 rupees and for me it is a very reasonable price and I am loving this lens because for the money it is providing you a very awesome picture quality. If you are going to buy a zoom lens from Nikon then it will cost you more than 15,000 for 18 to 55 mm lens with f3.5 aperture. Even though you are spending 15,000 rupees but you will not get the maximum for the money you pay. If you are a videographer then I don't think you need to buy a zoom lens. Go with the prime lens and it will take your quality to the next level. The next most important reason is the good framing. So framing is the background of your videos or how you place your subject in the particular frame. So you guys might be thinking how this lens can improve the framing. So the reason is that with the zoom lens you will mostly zoom in or zoom out to achieve a better framing. And uh, you will not move your camera closer or far to the subject because most of the people become lazy with that. So if you have prime lens then you cannot zoom in or zoom out. So you need to adjust the distance from your camera to the subject and this way you can frame your videos in a very professional way. 
सो माई फ्रेंड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी दीज आर द सिक्स रीजन्स टू प्रेफर ए प्राइम लेंस ओवर ए जूम लेंस बिकॉज यू विल गेट अ बेटर लो लाइट परफॉर्मेंस फास्टर फोकसिंग बेटर पिक्चर क्वालिटी एंड ए लॉट मोर सो इन माई ओपिनियन यू शुड डेफिनेटली ओन ए प्राइम लेंस फॉर बेटर फोटोज एंड वीडियोज सो गाइज दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू लाइक वट आई मेड सो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड डू ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड Until then thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video